In the City of Stars, for head coach Connie Price-Smith, it was a casting call years ago that found her the leading man to help vault her vision onto the big screen. I was looking for a vaults coach and we were actually at national championships and I was sitting down. One of the, a few of the coaches that worked with him at Texas Tech where he actually went to school at, and I said, I need a vault coach. And immediately there were two of them was like, I got a guy for you. Notice how you're up on your hips, your knees are up, smooth. Porter's coaching style and personality is definitely <laughs> unique. Good, good. I guess I would say passionate is the word that I would use. Up through the hands, work them out and go with your swing. Okay, you got it. Hey, none of this. Early up, out through and go with the swing. You got it, good. I'm very animated. Um, anybody at a meet will definitely know where I'm at. Good job, kiddo. Just give me the same jump. That's fine, you're fine. Attack, roll up and go with it. You know what to do. Hey, this ain't your first rodeo. Let's go. My kids definitely know when I'm serious and when I want work done. Um, I make sure that they, they understand that we have a purpose that we've got to go after, especially in training and definitely at a meet. At a meet, I really try to be a little bit more laid back, let them kind of calm down. You guys did a great You fought. You fought. Come here. I got, I got the answer. Right through here, you cannot back off. You have got to come in and roll an attack through your takeoff and jump into the hands. When you back off, you you hit and pull instead of as you come in and like a long jumper they come in and hit and roll right it's the same process you got to come in and roll and rump through the takeoff and through the hands yeah you definitely have to have different hats during different parts of training different parts of competition outside of track when we're traveling just being kind of a laid-back kind of guy depending on who you are and like he knows like who you are and like what gets you going and what doesn't oh I'm very, I know you're frustrated I know you are Trying just trying to light a fire into y'all's butt. That's why I was trying to get y'all, and look what happened. Y'all go fight for your, your, your spot. You go fight for it. No, That's okay. Well, today, a day like this, you're gonna have to. You know that. I haven't been a vaulter myself. I haven't been a um, thrower. I wanna know what they're feeling because I know what I felt when I was an athlete. A lot of times, a person that comes over and when they were a high caliber athlete, they have a lot of expectations for their group and he does a great job of motivating them and getting them to produce at a high level when it's time. Usually that's how I can connect with my athlete very well is you know knowing that okay they felt this well I knew when I felt that I, it was a, because of this or that and I want to make sure that we're on the same page and um, if they need some type of input or maybe they don't maybe they just need the coach to say hey you're good to go. Do you have anything left right now? I, I mean, tell me what so I can coach. We can figure out what we're going to do. Where are we going? So you, four to six, know. you want to go? I just came That's on this pole, she... probably. 13, three, so that you're in. So we need to go, let's go, you just want to go up by 10? We both four, wanted to six, get six. around a regional qualifying bar, and we knew that I could do that from there. You know, we say regional bar, a mark that would more than likely get her to the regional meet. Well, going through track season with indoor than outdoor, I had a longer season, come back from nationals. So we both kind of agreed that I'd go from a short run. And uh, she ended up doing exactly what we talked about. She stuck to the plan and she uh, came in at a lower bar and uh, just worked her way back into the meet and got the bar. Now that I have the regional qualifying bar pretty much under my belt, I just can take the rest of the season to be a little bit risky and go for those higher bars.